Holy f***. So sleeping was very hard in our car and we underestimated how cold it would get but we're off, it's still about 10 to 6 and we're at least going for a stroll if not looking for something to have a nice view from. We have succumbed to the elements, uh, even though we thoroughly have packed, we've managed not to bring warm enough clothes. We both had barely a couple of hours sleep last night and we had no plans for today. So we looked on Google Maps and we found this big lake about half an hour away and we're going to go drive to that right now. So it's still 7 in the morning but we've made it and it is wonderful. <laughs> Buell Reservoir about half an hour ago and went on a little drive and we've ended up at Hastings Seaside which is awesome so we're gonna have a little snack a classic cooked ham and cheese sandwich healthy healthy and then we're gonna set up a time lapse somewhere <laughs> Driving around Hastings, you're looking at me to put me on. I've <laughs> been driving around Hastings looking for viewpoints and pretty spots to try and shoot time lapses. So far, I've been successful in a couple of places. We've got a couple of really nice time lapses. How's the day been going, Will? Tiring. After aimlessly driving around in circles, we finally made a decision on a location to drive to, which is Eridge Rocks Nature Reserve. Eridge Rocks Nature Reserve, which is very near Groombridge, which is near where we stayed last night, so hopefully it'll be nice and easy. Okay, we're lost, we're going for a drive through now. Is this not the exit? We have now made it to the wonderful Eridge Rocks. Will has just gone quickly to sort out some business and then he's going back. But we've had a quick look and a cheeky beer. Let's see what happens. We just had a little explore of this place and it was quite good fun but we're, all, we're both very tired right now. I'm aching lots from yesterday so we didn't get much done. Uh, so we're going to go to McDonald's and start charging stuff. Shot a wonderful time lapse after FaceTiming a mystery person, <laughs> and it was an awesome time lapse. We we're probably a tad too late for the sunset, but it was fine. We still got good shots. All oh, my phone dropped, um, and we now decided that we're going to go home, edit, and finish all the food and drink that we have. Now I've just got back, and I had an awesome time with Will. It was a sick trip, but it was also a very steep learning curve first one being cars are cold and lose heat at night. It sounds like common sense but we didn't think about this and we have sleeping bags but did not use them. We also learned that an m and has free cutlery which is very useful for us. We've also bought too much food which was fine with because we stayed on a budget. It's also very hard to cook on a stove at night because you can't see anything plus the flame really stands out so we, we will avoid doing that next time. Also bring plates and a strainer. We, had, we made one out of a San Pellegrino bottle and the boiling water with the pasta melted the bottle. It was a great trip and I'm so excited to do it again. Oh, 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 oh,